Okay, we're back again. And now the double crossover is all put together after a little alterations. And that number 17 blade is a great little tool. And also, this is another tool that helps putting the rails on. I just took a piece of old rail, bent it on a 45 degree angle. I could put the rail on the end of that and then slip it right onto, you know, the track. So that's a good thing to have. And as you can see, um, it goes that way. And then you can see there I have uh, insulators. That's because uh, they're in two separate districts. So I have to keep the, the circuit breakers from uh, tripping so I insulated them right there. And uh, as you can see, this little caboose here can go nice and smooth all the way through both of them. If I switch the switch and switch this switch, it goes through, sorry for the hand, it goes through no problem. No problem at all. Switch this back. Come down to this end. Here. And then switch this way. And then the car goes through. Put that switch there. And it goes there. All smooth. So the next step will be... Okay, how nice and smooth that is. The next step will be putting it on the layout and that'll be my next video getting it hooked up to there so that's it for today and um, all my railroading friends have a great um, day and uh, looking forward to getting my next video up there as you can see in the background there's my caboose projects and um, I'm gonna be putting a video on that and eventually and over there is my BD20 project that I'm working on also. So I'll be having some more videos for you all to see. All right. Have a great day and see you soon.